Welcome to this video. This is a continuation on batch file programming from the introduction that I made. But let's talk about how we can actually make a batch file instead of having to type commands into CMD all the time. First thing to do is to create a new text document as I've done. Next thing is when I pull this document up, I uh, can make whatever information I want in there. And then I'll say file and save as. And then I'll give it whatever name I want. I'll just call it name. And then I add in a .bat. And this will make it so that it's not a txt file, but a bat file. And just because I saved it with whatever name I want, .bat, it creates an executable program. That won't execute properly, obviously, because that's not official code. But let's go over some of the basic commands that will be important for a batch file program. Uh, first off, let's talk about how to display information. Um, if I want to display something, I'll say echo, and then I'll type whatever I want to display, like hello. Oh, if I can spell that right. And then I'll save that by pushing Control S. Now the problem is when I execute this, it executes, but it, uh, it reads hello, and then it goes away. And when batch files run out of lines of code, they just close. So I'm going to say pause, and the pause will prompt us to stop reading the code and then to push any key when we're ready to continue. So now I have hello, but the problem is I have all this garbage around here, and to get rid of all of this garbage is a very essential line of code called at echo off, at echo off, and when I run at echo off, it says get rid of the garbage and only display hello and then the press any key to continue is our pause line of code. Batch files read one line of code at a time so they can't do two things at once. So when I push a key to continue it runs out of code and goes away. So those can be um, quite essential. Now let's say that I run my batch file and I find that it's kind of cramped to have this hello and press any key to continue. I want to space it out a little bit. If that be the case, then I will say echo period. And echo period will make a blank line. So if I close this and I run it again, I have some more spacing here, which can be beneficial. Also, I have C Windows System32 CMD.exe, the command line, as we've talked about before. And if I wanted to say something a little bit better, then I can add in title, and then I'll type whatever I want my title to be, and it will change the text up here. So I can say title, hello program. Maybe I should uh, do the traditional computer programming and say hello world. Traditionally, uh, with computer programming, the one of the most basic programs you can have is something that will display hello world. So if I double click, hello world, and it says hello world program up here instead of the Windows System 32. Um, that should be some pretty basic information to get you started. Um, as a further example, I'll add in a few extra blank spaces. And then I'll say, echo, how are you? Now remember, I don't have another pause down here. So when I run this, it'll pause, and then when I push any key, it will come down, echo, how are you, and then it will go away very quickly. And so if I want it to stop, then I'll add in another pause, and now I have it. So I can say, how are you? But what if I want to get rid of all this up here? Well then, after the pause, I'm going to say CLS, and CLS will clear the window of anything we had before. So now when I push um, any key, we're right here, it will clear the screen and then it will display only this here. How are you? And if I want to space it out even further or if I want to I want to take the spacing like that then I can run it and it will change the spacing to be at the top. Play around with these commands. Um, we went over at echo off, title, echo, echo period, and CLS. 
maybe make your own batch file. Um, and in our next video, we'll go over how to make variables, how to make decisions, and how to restructure programs. If this has been at all helpful, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back. And you can submit questions to uh, facebook.com slash Engineering. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.